If you can't afford to let a power outage interrupt your work, then you need this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I just bought this power back up, and the story around here is that I lose power a lot. In fact, I did a video a while back of why I put in a whole house generator, because sometimes we can lose power for a few minutes, oftentimes it's for an hour, sometimes it's for a couple of days. And in fact, a couple summers ago, we lost power for something like 48 hours, and that was kind of a big deal. But I had my backup generator, so I had power coming back on. Now, one of the things that happens here is that even if you lose power for just a minute, all of your stuff shuts down and for me when I'm on my desktop computer working I lose everything and that's what caused me to go ahead and buy a backup power unit because when I was working on some stuff that wasn't saved and I lost power it set me back hours and hours of work and there's nothing as frustrating as repeating work that you've already done now this one is by cyber power and I picked this up because this looked like it might be able to power my desktop computer at least briefly to make sure that I can save stuff before my backup generator generator can kick in but it was also very affordable in fact it was one of the cheaper power backups that you could get now I've gone ahead and unboxed it here I want to show you what you get first of all you have this cord here you have three prong outlet here grounded outlet and it's kind of off centered here so the cord is going to face down generally it depends on how your outlet is oriented but kind of keep that in mind I don't mind these usually but sometimes they can interfere with the plug that is adjacent to it so keep that in mind if that matters to you now here is the backup power unit itself it's pretty heavy stands about five inches tall here and it's about 12 inches long and maybe about seven inches wide so it's got some weight to it and usually that is the battery right here so it's got kind of one of those big cell batteries you might have them in home security systems in emergency exit lights and that's what you need here kind of one of these big old school batteries now on the front here we have power outlets all down the sides and what i love about this too is that some of the outlets are spaced pretty far apart so some of the plugs that you get on some of the devices like the amazon alexas and stuff like that are pretty large so you're not going to lose access to some of these outlets with some of these big plugs now i will say that even though this has six outlets on either side not all 12 of these outlets have power backup now i want to show you here this one says surge protected outlet so right here these work just like your regular surge protector but if you lose power these are also going to lose power on this side here it says battery supported surge protected outlet so again surge protectors here but these six outlets will continue to get power off of the battery so just keep in mind when you are plugging in your devices what are the ones that you can lose power on and plug them into the surge protected side and what are the items that you need to keep powered and plug them into the power backup side so things like my computer or my my monitor all that stuff will go in here things like your echo dot or your phone charger or stuff like that can go in this side all right and then what you will do here is you will power this bad boy on now what you will have to do here is to hold this button down here and then it will power on just like that and what i like is that it has a nice bright lcd display now one thing i will show you here is that this guy is not plugged in and so what this should do is do some intermittent beeping just to alert you that it's not getting power that it's is on power reserves here now one of the things that you can do is stop that by turning this off see it's going to keep beeping so let's say you've got stuff plugged in here you've got your work saved now you can power down your computer because you don't know how long the power outage is going to last but you want this to stop beeping just hold down this button here and it will power off just like that. So now it's not gonna beep or anything like that. Now, before you use this as your power backup, it says to go ahead and plug this in for eight hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. I think that's going to top off the battery here and just make sure that it is fully charged to support any electronics that you plug in. And then I'm gonna plug in my computer and we'll see if it works or if I'm gonna be really frustrated. All right, I have the battery backup charging here. It's been eight hours, so it should be topped off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my computer here and let's see if it stays on when I unplug it or if I'm gonna ruin my desktop. Well, as I'm trying to get ready to plug in my backup power supply, the power has already gone out. As you can see, my smart light bulbs here <laughs> are coming back on and they're kind of crazy colors too, which is just what they default to. All right, so... <clears throat> I don't know, I may lose power again here. So let's get this thing plugged in and see if it works because as you can see, the computer's off and everything that was running is just gone. 
All right, so just want to see if this works. Got everything plugged in. On this side, I've got all my key stuff, like the computer, monitor, and all that. On this side, I have the stuff that I don't really care about and only needs to be surge protected, like my Echo Dot and my lamp. But the computer stuff needs to keep running. So let's boot up the computer and then unplug this and see what happens. All right, as you can see, my computer is up and running here. And now I'm just going to go down here and... <laughs> unplug this and so now i'm just gonna unplug this and see what it's doing that light is on that little green light i think that means it's good to go so here goes nothing <gasps> yes yes it's up and running i haven't lost anything and this little lcd screen is on and as you can hear there it's beeping so what it's saying, this might be hard to see there, but it's saying that that battery is completely full. You can see it right up there, that battery indicator. So that is awesome. All right. So even though I just lost the work that I was working on because the power went out, even though I had this battery backup and hadn't put it in yet, I now know that no matter what happens, I don't have to worry about it anymore because I'm going to have this little guy, CyberPower, looking over me, telling me everything's going to be all right like a guarantee on the box. Hey, if you want to pick up this guy because it works and it's not that expensive, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.